the people who work in porn, the women and men who work in porn, they're both sort of in all of our homes, they're on our screens, they're outcasts, they're sort of, you know, they're not allowed to, in lots of ways to be part of normal society, like in, in the UK. Wash your hands, dinner. Hi, sweetheart. No signs at the table. I can't help it, I'm a mummy. So this is your first shoot, is it? Yeah. Good luck, baby. The most important word in MILF is not fuck, it's fuck. Adult Material is a drama about a woman called Jolene Dollar who's been working in the adult film industry since she was a teenager. We meet her when she comes into contact with a new performer, a woman who's just about to join the industry, and their encounter affects Jolene in ways that she hadn't expected. At the same time as a, a, a man that she's had a very uncomfortable encounter in the past with uh, comes into her life um, and she learns that one of her close friends and her, her producer of many years is planning to collaborate with this man and so it's about how those two relationships um, start to unravel this woman who has up until this point uh, been very assured and comfortable. Everyone has a price. No they don't. What do you think is the exact figure that Angelina Jolie would agree to be fucked in the ass on camera? I stayed with you because I loved you and I thought you loved me. But that ain't love, mate. That's economics. The people who work in porn, the women and men who work in porn, they're both sort of in all of our homes, they're on our screens, they're outcasts, they're sort of, they, you know, they're not allowed to, in lots of ways to be part of normal society. Like in, in the UK, it's historically been very difficult for porn stars to get even bank accounts, let alone things like mortgages. So I'm always interested in people who uh, are treated by society with some degree of hypocrisy, I suppose, and, and some degree of um, outsiderness. She's a really good mum and, and her decision to be in the industry that she is in is born out of her trying to provide for her kids. And particularly for me, the whole show is about the class system in lots of ways, because, um, you know, that, that Jolie makes a wage and earns a living doing something that her qualifications from school or her economic background shouldn't, wouldn't allow her to do in any other way. We grow to understand growing up in a house that has certainly alcohol dependency in it, possibly abuse, you know, absent, her father is absent. She, you know, that she's grown up in relative poverty and made a life for herself that to lots of people until you find out what she does, looks aspirational. She's a really staggering actress, Hayley, and she's a particular thing, a, a type of actress that I, I think is quite rare. And my writing often sits in this place, which is she's a tragic comedian. She is very, very moving. I think you find yourself with that character and that emotional journey, hopefully because they're writing, but largely because of Haley's just beautiful inhabiting of all those moments. Um, but she's also very, very funny, like her ability to deliver comedy truthfully. Not she doesn't play for the gag. She's not trying to do that, but she, well, she, but she, she does it in such a sort of a truthful way. It's about the character rather than a joke. Have we met before? You're very familiar to me. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> she gives that character such dignity, and that was really important to me. It's a topic that people are scared of. Um, I've got a bit like a bit like the character of Jodie, and I feel like I have slightly different um, like moral barometers than the most people, and so I just find it interesting. Whereas it's been surprising to me how many people are genuinely quite scared of the territory and they don't want to go anywhere near it. Um, so it just took us a long time to to kind of. Um, get to a point where we we could make the show the work became over many many years nine something like eight eight nine years um more mature and more considered and more complicated i mean i'm uh, increasingly as i get older as a writer i just want to make things more complicated because that's life but i hope that people have kind of a riot watching it and um and 
and enjoy its complexity because that's I think that's what Daw, the director, who was absolutely brilliant, and Haley particularly, um, delivered so beautifully was that there was there was no one no one in the crew or the cast ever tried to simplify this and and I hope that what the result is a really a really fun complicated thoughtful riot. <laughs>